In this video, I will break down major cruise lines, private islands, discussing what makes them unique from their excursions and offerings. Do you have to tender to the ship? Is lunch provided? And most importantly, what cruise line you need to sail to be able to experience each one. Everything that you need to know so you know what to expect when you go and spend a day at any of these private islands. The popularity of private islands and private destinations are not a new concept but they are becoming more and more popular between cruise lines and cruisers alike. When a cruise line purchases land or acquires land for a long-term lease, they can offer incredible experiences and a sense of exclusivity as you have to travel on the cruise line's ships to experience a particular destination. Before we dive right into the video, you may be wondering what is the difference between a private island and a private destination, but don't worry, we're gonna dive into all of that and dive into the nitty gritty details. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, if you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you won't miss another upload. So let's get to it. A private island is just that, an island. And a private destination is not an island. In most cases, it's a peninsula of land and it is owned and operated by the cruise line. And beyond a certain area, it is no longer the cruise line's property and it goes back to the country that owns the area. So our first example, we will discuss the cruise line private islands. And if you're interested in learning more about cruise line private destinations, stay tuned for my next video where we cover all of those destinations as well. And our first actual private island of the list. So Perfect Day at Coco Cay is operated by Royal Caribbean, but technically it's two other sister brands, Celebrity Cruises and Azamara Cruises, could dock there, but again, it's not common to see that happen at all. So what's great about Coco K is that they do have a brand new dock and complimentary lunch is included as well with some paid options. The private island went over an incredible and simply remarkable remodel. So the island has been completely redone with an enormous project that finished in May of 2019. So now you will find the largest freshwater pool in the Bahamas, along with a swim up bar, private beach bungalows and cabanas, endless excursions and activities, something truly for everyone. But if you wanted to experience a helium balloon, zip lining, floating bars, swimming, kayaking, parasailing, so much to do. And also two complimentary splash pads for the kids one like a pirate ship and the other for some younger tots to explore. And oh, don't forget the snorkeling, be on the lookout for a sunken airplane off the beach. And my favorite part of Perfect Day at Coco Cay is the Thrill Water Park where you can experience breathtaking thrills as you coast down the tallest water slide in North America and then enjoy some of the other water slides and jump into the wave pool as well. So due to the revamping, it has a completely new look and is quite the experience. But other highlights to include are there's also shopping by local Bahamian souvenirs, and you can also get Coco K specific merchandise, which is only available on the island there. So if you see something, grab it, because the ship won't even sell it. There's even more that come with Coco Beach Club, where there's going to be some incredible overwater cabanas, really inspired as if you were traveling to the Maldives. Those are gonna open in December of 2019, so be on the lookout for those. Next up is Half Moon Key. If you're looking to travel to Half Moon Key, you will wanna be sailing on Carnival or Holland America. Currently, there is no dock, but there are some new enhancements that will be including a pier, and this will eliminate having to use a tender boat to experience the island, along with some other updates as well. But if you're looking to hear some more about this, make sure you check out my latest video discussing the details, all about Half Moon Keys renovations up in the cards or in the description box below. So Half Moon Key has a plethora of private beach bungalows and cabanas. They have a child aqua park and splash pad and loads of excursions and activities from horseback riding in the water, a stingray encounter, and of course, other water activities, snorkeling, swimming, water sports, kayaking that you can do a paid excursion for, paddle boarding, jet skiing, so much to offer. Other highlights to mention is that they do have local shopping for Bohemian handmade souvenirs. 
And my favorite, they have a bar that is designed like a pirate ship. And also, lunch is included on the island. Our next private island is Harvest Key Belize. Harvest Key is operated by Norwegian Cruise Line. They do have a dock and it is super duper long, but it is great that you have it so you can have ease of access when you wanna explore the island. Some interesting things to note is that they have mangroves and other protected wildlife throughout the island. I really enjoyed checking out the butterfly sanctuary and other wildlife exhibitions. And they have nature trails where you can walk outside and learn about the local animals and the habitat. Not to mention, of course, they have some fantastic beaches with private beach bungalows and cabanas, kids splash park, huge pool with swim up bar and cascading waterfalls. A con would be though that they don't have lunch included on the island so you can use your ship card and purchase food at one of the restaurants on the island like Landshark Bar and Grill. This is a two-story indoor outdoor restaurant which is pretty cool to hang out in and it's attached to the swim up bar here. But there are tons of excursions and activities, like a huge three level zip line, snorkeling, swimming, and a lot of water sports. Something else to mention is that they have a manatee sighting boat tour. This is also really unique and I haven't seen this at other private destinations or islands. So I love to see that they had this and that they also have a really expansive shopping area with of course, popular name brand retailers like Kerry Loha and Del Sol and of course with the local Belizean crafts. Next up is Great Stirrup K, operated also by Norwegian. Now Great Stirrup K is an island that is part of the Berry Islands in the Bahamas and it is directly adjacent to Royal Caribbean's private island Coco K. So if you're standing on one island or the other and you stand at a high enough point, you can actually see the other island. At this point, Great Syrup K doesn't have a dock, so that is a little bit of a bummer, but there are some other great things on the island. Lunch is served, and you can have a perfect beach day with your private beach cabanas for rent, and designated activity areas where there's a hippo water slide, a splash academy for the kiddos, massages and cabanas, and other excursions and activities such as snorkeling and wave runners, ping pong tables, and of course, loads of other highlights like Buried Treasure Bazaar. This is shopping with a twist and a play on the name after its name itself is following the name of the Berry Islands. So you can find local Bohemian women operating the straw market and selling handmade goods. But don't forget to check out the nature trail where you can take a walk through lush Bohemian foliage. And if you walk further enough down, you can check out a lighthouse from the outside and see that it is still working and operated by solar power. You can't go inside it though, but it was originally built in 1863. So pretty cool to see. Next up is Castaway Key operated by Disney Cruise Line. First off, when you get off the ship, they do have a dock for you ease of access to get to the island and start exploring right away. Castaway Key truly has something for everyone as well with their loads of excursions and activities from bike riding, water slides out in the water that are free. They also have other water activities, just like what I've previously mentioned at other private islands, but they also have snorkeling where you can snorkel for some sunken treasures like a hidden Mickey and a hidden Minnie down in the water. Now lunch is provided on the island and there's actually a couple different locations where you can grab lunch, but you can also get away from the sun and have a lot of different activities in the shade like basketball, billiards, and ping pong. They do have private beach bungalows and cabanas. Some other highlights to include is that they have an observation lookout tower. You can bike or walk this nice paved path. It's actually part of the 5K race that operates every morning when the ship docks there and you can participate in it for free. There's the path that leads you all the way to the tower. We walked it, but I wouldn't actually recommend it simply because it is so hot. Bike riding would have been a lot easier. Don't forget about the shopping for Castaway Key specific merchandise, only available on the island. So don't miss out and think that you can purchase it on the ship. You'll have to buy it when you are there, along with other Bohemian retail spots for arts and crafts and other handmade goods. But wait, let's not forget about a huge highlight of the island is Serenity Bay. An adults only section of the island. It is the most blissful section as you are so far off 
on the island that you have to take a shuttle to get there. And they even provide a second setup for lunch buffet so you don't have to leave this section if you wanted to. The area offers loads of loungers for the use and even hammocks on the beach. Serenity Bay can even seem too quiet for some as depending on the time of day, if the band is perhaps taking a break and there isn't any tropical music playing, it is quite the oasis. And my last favorite thing to note on Castaway Key is that there's a post office where you can send a postcard home to a friend saying, wishing you were here. Unfortunately, it was closed when we were there, so we'll just wanna be mindful if you have your stop on the weekend. It's run by the local Bohemian government, so it's closed on the weekend, so just keep that in mind. Don't get your hopes too high for sending a postcard just in case it's not open. If you wanna learn about upcoming brand new private islands and destinations that will be debuting in the future, be sure to be on the lookout from those from my channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below which private island you have visited and if you haven't visited some of them which ones would you like to go see thanks so much for watching and until next time ciao for now